Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we're here at Carl's place today. Yes. Playing around with uh, Oldsmobile 307s. Calvin's with me, there's a bunch of us here celebrating Carl's birthday. And uh, Carl's got this 307 Oldsmobile and uh, he just wants to play with this thing here. So we're just splitting the transmission and we're gonna put it on a, you know, an engine stand and Carl's going to play with this and, uh, you know, give it a health report. And it's, it's, uh, the plan for this engine is it's going to make its way into his 50 Oldsmobile. Uh, that's, that's the red uh, one you had from Langham. Yes. The, if you, uh, want to get a peek at that Oldsmobile, it uh, showed up in my last video. It's, uh, it was a pretty little Oldsmobile, 50 Olds, kind of a rest of mod deal. It has currently a 455. Uh, Which is with, extremely hard on fuel. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard on fuel. Carl kind of opted for this 307. Now, there's a couple interesting things about these 307s. Now, these were made from 1980 to 1990, and there was two generations of these engines. Uh, now, apparently, the first generation went from 1980 to 1984, and they were a flat tap cam. And the second generation went from 85 to 1990, and that was a roller cam motor. Uh, now, these things aren't real powerhouses. I think they're rated at between 140 and 180 horsepower. But the better one to have was the first generation one. And one way to identify these things is uh, a little marking on the left front corner of the head. And this one here is actually an A5. And an A5 is the early version. It's actually the one to have. Uh, the 7A was the uh, later generation, and that was the roller cam motor. So, anyway, just some interesting information about Pony or uh, Oldsmobile 307s. These were actually the very last carbureted production car or engine to have a carburetor was the 307. So Calvin's got this split here, and we're just going to lift it up and throw it on a stand, and, and Carl's going to play with this thing. So very last production car to have a carburetor, right there. Uh, and like I say, this is the earlier version, this is the one to have. Need to go down there a little bit, Calvin, or? Yeah, the valve is really slow on this thing. Okay. okay well, try her there. Right there. Close up the valve, and... Lift her up, and it should be near center. So far we've been able to do this and nobody's bleeding yet. That's a good thing. That's a rare thing, that's right there. I kind of feel like we must be doing it wrong. So this uh, 307 will actually bolt directly in place of the 455 in his Oldsmobile. The bolt patterns are all the same, but dimensionally, these engine, engines are a little bit smaller. <laughs> I think it's, deck. yeah, it's, uh, I think it's two and three quarter inches narrower and an, a couple inches shorter. I'm not sure where the casting dates are on these blocks. Uh, it'd be nice to find it because then we know what year it is, but. Yeah, for sure. I could tell you it's uh, between 80 and 84. That's. Yeah, isn't that neat? For the guys that want to do the homemade turbo. Are we high enough for the stand now? I don't think so, but that's okay. Well, well, we might be. Okay, we're gonna have to pull this tranny out of the way. Where do you want this one in the corner? Uh, if I move that shit out of here, sorry. Well, I don't even know what language you're speaking when you use that kind of profanity. <laughs> hey, this is a family channel. Anyways, yeah, this one's got a a little quadra spanker on it. Basically all dressed. Oh. Oh. We're gonna stuff the tail end into the corner, I suppose. Oh here. You video, I move. I'm the brain, you're the brains. I'm the move, I'm the uh, muscle here. Kelvin's got the back today. So that's a 200 R4? 200 R4, yep. Good old mechanical type overdrive. This is what you need if you want to do a, a low buck kind of a 
overdrive tranny thing without having to worry about special controllers and it's, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, cable operated off of the. Yeah, they still got a, a connector on them for a torque converter clutch and the like, but there's still a mechanical cable drive speedometer and a mechanical uh, throttle valve cable. Oh, cool. So, apparently, that's the stuff. But don't be putting one of those behind the LS because you'll be lost. I gotta go a little higher, I guess. Yep. What wrench do you need? Pumpy, pumpy. You what? Do you need a wrench for that? Or? Yeah, probably uh, three quarter. Say one. Yeah, a little more. Okay, good. That should be about the right height. Might have to go a little bit lower. I don't know. I usually try and center them somewhere around the camshaft. But. Yeah, so not, uh, these were, you know, uh, this is the 307, a more sought after one. However, uh, these, uh, not, not a powerhouse, but they were good, reliable engines. They were, they were super reliable, just, uh, you know, not, nothing you can standard make. applications, like some of the metric, uh, Olds and stuff, they got phenomenal fuel economy for, you know. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Carl wants this in his car. He, he's gonna, gonna try this to save himself some fuel mileage. I mean, the 50 Olds, it's not it's not a go-fast car, it's a cruiser. Yeah. That's that's what it's used for. Yeah, you were at Rolling Steel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so Darren's getting that motor. Oh, okay. So there's some trading, horse trading going on. So Darren also appears on the channel. Uh, Roland Steel, he owns uh, a wheel company in town. He's got so a lot for of... anyone who's wondering why I have lug nuts on these bolts, these tubes are so much larger that a 9 16 head kind of buries yeah. itself. Yeah. And I needed a spacer. I got a slightly longer bolt and a lug nut as a spacer so it'll center up a little better. I don't know. I just, I just the thing where I feel more comfortable. I'm too high. If we uh, wheelie this thing a little bit. Uh, it's caught on the. Oh, yeah, I'm hooked. Just caught. kick it over a bit. There you go. Okay, now we're going to have to go. There, and there, okay, now we could be cooking with grease here. So this thing's all dressed, it's got everything on it. It's like a good pizza, with no pineapple. Really, for the ace, it's pretty clean. Oh, you want to get through? Yeah. Give me a few minutes here. Yeah. I'll just get these bolts started in here, and then you're welcome like to roll. This one. Yeah. Okay, so this isn't Rome, but you know. Yeah. We're building this in a day. Hey, okay, have at her, buddy. thread like a cross thread they say oh there that one's threading in nice yeah well so did that one but and then it stopped threading in nice let's see what we've done wrong here oh 
The only other thing I, I learned about these engines is they don't drain oil very well. Uh, the drain back on them is, uh, we'll pull a valve cover here and see what it looks like. But uh, typically they don't they drain. Be fairly well centered. Now, let's see if I can get this on the thread end. Should have used an impact. The is, huh? The through hole of this is the blind. Uh, it's actually got an opening. It does. Yeah, it does. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, shit. Oh, it might just be a bunch of rust there. That's better. She's going. There we go. Oh, the valve cover bolts are on okay. there. Okay. Now that those are kind of where we want them, I'm going to tighten up these bolts that hold the arms. And you know, it'd be nice if it went over a bit. You want me to go down a little bit? No, no, we're right good. There. Yeah, this is a high-tech operation here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only the qualified, you know. Don't know what I'm doing here. I look official with a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. That's what's well, super that's, important. That's proper. That's proper mechanic in right there. That's, uh, you know, I just realized one thing that uh, there's no wrench wielding on this channel until today. So uh, I guess I guess we can chalk that one off the list. We're actually wielding wrenches on this on this channel today. Unfortunately, the world is going to witness that I'm getting my hands dirty and yeah, so much for my yeah, reputation. Dirty hands. But that's not, good. Not sure if it means I have to amputate, but used to working on clean stuff. This is your fault, Carl. I blame you. And now I'm breaking a sweat, so the party's almost over. <laughs> well, better than freezing your nuts off. Well, there is that, but that heater's. Really doing its work. It's warm. Okay. You should probably pretty much lower it. Ready? When you are. Feet under there. Anything you don't want to lose. <laughs> well, hoist is slow. She's slow move. That's yeah, just about disengaged. There's not much weight on there now. It works, and you got a pin. Good. Yeah. I just grabbed one of the other bolts that was from that other stand. Carl, you want to jump up and down? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> there, there we go. There. <coughs> that valve may need a little repair. Oh, it's on there. Ta-da! Nobody's bleeding. No broken toes to stand holding. Hey, what? Can do some, some are gonna get hurt now. Touch wood. Alright guys, well I just thought I'd share some uh, Oldsmobile. 307 Oldsmobile information for you. And uh, yeah, as Carl gets wrenching on this, we'll have some future update videos. But thanks for watching.